Hi, this is Bonsan, and you're getting a release with Relax. The number you have reached has been disconnected. The new number is... The Phone Booth. All right, it is Relax here. And on the show tonight, I am joined right here for a bit of a chat in the studio. It is North England underground sensation, the young man, Bontan. How are you, mate? Hi, Ryan. I'm good, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Good to have you on the show. It's exciting times for you, mate. Things have been getting bigger and bigger, I'd say, over the last year. It's our first chance to catch up and talk and some great stuff to cover about you. Let's take it back to, I guess, the one that really cut you across a lot of people's ears, and that's uh, Josh Butler, Got a Feeling. Now, it was the Bontan remix, but it was the Pleasure Craft edit, and this got some great support. got Radio one support back there at home for you, which must have been huge. The likes of Carl Cox, Hot Sin 82, some big players all getting behind this one. Tell us about this yeah. sort of moment for you. I mean, it, it came about because um, me and Josh were initially, you know, just friends. We've been friends for a number of years, and then he got in touch with me and, and told me that you know, the record had been picked up by NTA. And, you know, I was basically unknown at that time. I'd released about maybe one or two records. Uh, did, him, did the remix for him, uh, and then it just kind of blew up. And it, it, it took a while. I mean, it was released in May. It didn't take till about August to, um, to, like, to really take off. And it, it was mainly in Ibiza where it received a lot of the recognition. And then it, it, it just it went crazy from there. And it was, in, it was number one in, on the Deep House chart for, for months and months. But uh, yeah, it's a fantastic feeling. And it's a great way to, it was a great way to kick off my career. Absolutely, a great way to impact. Now, I mean, the unusual part about it is, I guess it's your remix, but then Pleasure Crafts come in and who are, you know, some great producers in their own right and redone their own version of it. How did you feel about that initially? I guess someone else coming in and retouching your work or you didn't care? Well, no, was, we kind of worked together on the edit because me and um, Cave from Pleasure Craft, uh, he released my first EP. Um, about a year before the um, Josh Butler remix got released so I sent him over a few versions and, and the ones that didn't get released and he was like yeah this is cool it'd be good if we could sublease it and you know we could work on the edit together so we kind of um, we kind of worked on that together ah, but I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't too annoyed about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. So getting a helping hand from someone, which is great. And it's our first chance to catch up and talk and some great stuff to cover about you. It does seem like, you know, to many that it's been, a, you know, I guess, an overnight with a couple of records out and you've uh, just come out of nowhere and smashed it. But, I mean, you've been producing and sort of toiling away for a while yourself, yeah? Yeah, I've been producing for about seven years now. Uh, like you say, a lot of people think I've just <laughs> come from nowhere and just made a couple of records and just jumped straight into the limelight. But it's, it's been a long, hard Log. It's taken me seven years, so I kind of just like to remind people I've only absolutely every family say I've come from nowhere. Absolutely, and I mean, I guess what's happened though. I mean, we had we talk about obviously there the uh, Josh Butler remix, which was absolutely blew up, and then there's been some big key records that really uh, have stood out amongst I guess so much music that comes out these days, and I guess across your career. And I mean, one of them was uh, um, recently also was the remixing label boss Mark Knight and with D Ramirez, who's a production legend in his own right, versus yeah. Underworld. I mean, they're, they're huge in their own own right for that massive yeah. downpipe now that's quite a remix to do was there a bit of pressure on that one well it was it was yes <laughs> yes it was <laughs> i got um i got in my studio and it, it was it was not long after um got a feeling came out I, I got an email and it was off um mark knight and it was just like hey ooh, i like your music blah 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 do you fancy remix and downpipe and i was just like what the hell <laughs> i i I had to check his email address because I didn't think it was real. I had to, like, <laughs> double, I had to double check because I, was, I, I couldn't believe it. Such a huge record, you know, to to be asked to, re, to remix, and I was just honoured honoured to, to do it. And I instantly replied saying, "Yes, I'll do it. I can have it to you by next week." <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. I mean, and from there now, of course, let's talk to modern times and right now. Uh, your latest and it's your debut single for Mark Knight's Tour and Records I believe it's Move On Out which is um, starting to blow up as well talk about this one for us this one um, I mean this is uh, I guess the signature of your sound right now yeah well I, I, I made this the same time as I made the um, Josh Butler remix around the same time Just I just kept it tight kept tweaking it but didn't really send it to, to anyone to any labels it was just just be, to begin with for me to play out and then um, the guys at Tool Room heard it and then they were just like you know, we need to sign this record it's got so much potential and um, yeah it did, it did really well on Beatport it is doing really well it got to number two on the Deep House chart yeah. it's received support all over Radio 1 and, 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 and from some big some, some big players again yeah 
buzz charts are all over it big players are all over it so I mean mate it's, it's great stuff it seems that you are certainly on a, a solid track these days so well done on that cheers man thank you now what advice would you have out there for any young producers coming through you know that are sort of looking to you thinking hey you know oh he's just blown up we've discovered that one isn't the case it's a lot of hard work out there but what sort of advice would you have for those young producers my advice would have to be be patient don't expect to make a hit record in the first time you try <laughs> and spend a lot of time experimenting it is going to take a while not rushing into things not sending everything I do to labels it's just being patient with, with your music and that's, that's exactly what I, I did but it, it took me a little longer <laughs> <laughs> now what's coming up for you for the summer the UK summer is about to kick off which is a very busy time of course with Ibiza just launching in next week I believe um, and uh, of course Festival Man across the UK and Europe. What's going on in your horizons? Yeah, um, music-wise, um, I've got uh, mine and Josh's single. This should be out in the summer at some point. My new single. Um, I've got a new track with Sonny Federa. Yeah, he's from Australia. Yeah, he's actually should, from the home, know. Yeah, hometown of Adelaide as well. He's absolutely doing some great stuff. Yeah, we've got a new track coming out on Casual. Um, I've also got my new single, Gadgets and Buttons. Um, I couldn't tell you when that's coming out because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and my remix for Clean Bandit, that should be out this month, I believe. All right, so there's a stack of music in the pipeline, so I guess that's uh, enough to keep us hungry in many ways. Mate, it's been great to talk to you. Thank you for uh, joining us here down in Australia on the show. It's been great to have you in and see what is, as we said, uh, not the start, but it seems to be the start of something big for you in this career at the moment. So, um, Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me also. No, mate, absolute pleasure. It's uh, great to have a chat. We uh, wish you all the best and stay in touch. We'd love to get you back on here and uh, and see these releases uh, kick off for us. But before we go, mate, we always like to ask, is there something we can get you to play on the show for us? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'll play my my remix of Clean Bandit Extraordinary which you will, will be coming out this month alright brilliant and these guys are absolutely killing themselves in their own right so what a pairing it is Bontan remixing Clean Bandit for you right here as picked by the man himself for more head to djrelax.com <laughs>